I met Art Rosenfeld in 2003 when I first became a commissioner on the Public Utilities Commission and he taught me two things. The first is to be passionate about energy efficiency and I didn't think that was possible. I didn't, it, it's such an arcane subject uh, that only someone like him can instill the level of passion in, uh, in, in, in energy efficiency, in, in light bulbs and you know, things like that. But it, he made me a total believer in the potential uh, and we had so much fun working together uh, it, it, that it just it became something I became passionate about. The second thing he taught me is not to overthink it that sometimes the simplest ideas are the most powerful. And I'll never forget him tell me, telling me the concept of cool roofs. Simply painting a roof white makes an enormous difference and can save the you know, tens of power plants uh, from being built and uh, just by painting a roof white. It's that simple. And so I mean, some of the most powerful ideas are the most simple ones. The story I want to tell about Art is his propensity to come home from work at night take out his little notebook and start making calls to people on energy efficiency issues. I would know it was Art, that I would pick up the phone and he would say, hi, this is Art, what am I interrupting? And of course, I would tell him nothing, he was interrupting nothing, and we get into a discourse on the favorite energy efficiency topic. It got to a point, however, uh, where I told Art that he could not call me after 9.30 at night because my wife said that when he calls at 9.30, we wouldn't get off the phone until 11, and that was too late for her. So Art wrote in his little book, uh, Roland Risser, maximum uh, time to call is 9.30, and he would call and say, Roland, it's 9.25, can we talk for five minutes? The, when we were working on the first round of building standards, that's when we discovered the power of energy efficiency that we were able not to build power plants because we could instead use energy efficiency. And today we're at the California Public Utilities Commission where we're running the largest energy efficiency program in the world. We're offsetting an entire large power plant every single year. And that all goes back to what Art first taught me and so many others 30 years ago he began to ask questions about simply saving energy by closing off attics. Why can't you do this? Why won't it save energy? Why don't people recommend this? And through this time, you could see his mind simply asking very practical questions and going the next step and saying, if everybody closed off their attic, that is, closed off their attic vents, it would save energy. And I think this was one of the first times where Art translated a simple conservation measure in a single home to a statewide impact. In the Northwest, we're currently aiming to meet 100% of all load growth with energy efficiency over the next five years. And this type of ambitious goal is only possible because of the leaders and the visionaries that have worked in our field. And certainly, Art Rosenfeld is right at the forefront there. But Art has managed to do what all of us aspire to do, and that is to make a tremendous difference in the world. Because Art brings together the qualities of his massive intellect, but he brings that along with a sense of humanity, a sense of urgency, but also a generosity of a spirit that allows him to convince everyone, not just as a regulator, but as an efficiency expert, to do the things that actually make sense in the real world. And what I remember the most uh, about uh, Art is that he single-handedly uh, was responsible for killing the energy vampires. These are the transformers that hang off of your wall, hundreds of years old, actually more than 100 years old, I should say, and uh, they waste a lot of energy. And uh, he started uh, this uh, external power supply standard at CEC. Now that has spread across the world. So thanks to Art, you will only see these transformers in the museums in the very near future along with vacuum tubes and uh, CRT TVs and so on uh, and so forth. And this not only saves a lot of money to consumers and saves the planet, it's also been a very good business for us. When we look at all the markets in the U.S. and around the world that pose the best opportunities for 
providing energy efficiency benefits to our customers, California far exceeds any other state in any other region of the world. And when you think about the reasons for that, there's basically one name, and that's Art Rosenfeld. The programs, the policies, the influence that he's had in creating the most viable energy efficiency market in the world is pronounced. And we have Art Rosenfeld uh, to thank for that.